Platinum Studios SVG. A real quick video today. We talked about two systems before. One that's in China, and that's a social system. The system that uh, they monitor every single thing you do, and if they don't like what you do, they can block you from doing a lot of things. Now, they, you know, they try to make it seem like it's going to be for the better of the people. Well, we know that's a lie. The second one is the one that's in India, the one that you have, they are removing. I think they already they have already removed like 75 percent of the cash in the country and they're moving towards a new system an identification card with a 12 digit number and that's how you can do a lot of things purchase stuff and all that and they try to make that one seem like it's better for the people and better for the country now check this out in america they're coming up with a new system another system and it's called pre-crime i want you to watch this movie clip real quick and then we're going to talk for a minute and then I'm going to show you exactly what they're talking about. Here we go. Look at me. Look at me. Positive for Howard Marks. Mr. Marks. By mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours, four minutes. No, I didn't do anything. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 22nd, at 0800 hours, four minutes. No, I didn't do anything. Now, Minority Report, it seemed like a movie. What a lot of people don't know and don't realize is there's a lot of things that they're telling us that they're going to do, and they show it to us in different ways. I personally believe that God has made it in a way that they, that they tell us what they're going to do. In other words, they're telling themselves. And for those who pay attention and for those who have discernment, for those who are seeking to find the truth in the world of what's, go, what's really going on, and especially there's so many prophecies being fulfilled, he did this so that we can see, we can know, and we can tell what's going on. It's like people who sit there and who still call themselves Christians and follow these celebrities and you don't know that they're in a cult. They work for the devil. You know, some people, as soon as you say that, they get mad, they want to run. They would say, you are, you are uh, well, a conspiracy theorist. No, I'm not. If you actually seek and ask God, he would tell you and he would show you. Now, look at what they're doing now. Mr. Speaker, all of these horrifying events on this non-exhaustive list have something in common. Every single one of these attacks was carried out after someone close to the killer observed and reported concerning behavior to the authorities. The good news is there is something that we can do to fix this. I gave that speech on the floor of the House of Representatives just 12 hours before the tragedy at Santa Fe High School only 15 miles outside of my congressional district in Texas. Targeted violence has taken the lives of thousands of innocent Americans. This crisis is impacting our country indiscriminately. In the most powerful and innovative nation in the world, there's absolutely no reason that we should not feel safe in our schools, where we work, or the places where we worship or anywhere else in the community where people gather. Americans want solutions. I believe that we've found one. In 1981, an assassination attempt was made on President Ronald Reagan. The U.S. Secret Service began studying individuals who had either attacked or come close to attacking public officials. That study led to the process of identifying investigating and assessing and, if necessary, mitigating threats posed by those who may be on a pathway to violence. A process called threat assessment and management, and it works. Since the attack on Reagan, no president has come that close to losing his life. And seeing the merits of this, others, including the FBI and NCIS, put into action their own systems of threat assessment and management. If it works to protect our president and other public figures, why not use it for the rest of us? The problem is that, by and large, this concept is not part of the culture and fabric of contemporary law enforcement, particularly at the state and local level. I want to ensure that if a local entity wants to learn how to use this process, the federal government is equipped to help them. 
This is where the TAPS Act comes in. This bill establishes a task force of experts who will advise in creating a national strategy aimed at preventing targeted violence by using threat assessment and management. The overall goal is to train and support those who want to use this life-saving method. This strategy will include a program that helps build locally driven threat assessment and management units and a specialized program to protect our schools. The TAPS Act is about connecting the dots before an attack occurs. Let's not forget, law enforcement interacted with the Parkland, Florida school shooter 39 times. Every warning sign was there. They were not missed. It was just a failure to connect the dots. Our local law enforcement does a great job, but for the most part is unaware of this proven system. Folks, when the first shot goes off, it's too late, we have failed. If a local threat assessment and management process had been in place in Parkland, we may not have lost 17 innocent lives that day. It's time that we do something substantive to protect our children and our communities. Instead of politically charged rhetoric, let's work together and use the tools at our disposal. The truth is, we need your help. And while those affected by these tragedies continue to be in our thoughts and prayers, now is the time for action. My hope is that every member of Congress would consider the TAPS Act a priority. Together we can connect the dots and save lives. What they're doing now, this new system the pre-crime that they're trying to actually implement, they're making it seem like it's really wonderful. Think about it for a moment. What they're trying to tell you is by utilizing this system, they can stop a lot of crimes from happening, school shootings and all that stuff. They're going to tell you they could catch terrorists because they have all of these warnings and we didn't catch on to them. Just like every other system out there that they're trying to implement, they're going to say it's going to help. All they're trying to do is not godly. So this pre-crime system is just based off of algorithms in other words monitoring everything that you do like china and then come up and say hey you are more subjectable to committing a crime so guess what we're going to lock you up before you commit that crime now people some people might praise it and say yes all of these school shootings we could have stopped them this system could have helped and my child could have been alive this could have not happened and this and that but when it turns on them no what are they going to do pre-crime is something that we saw in a movie and we didn't never thought that it would ever come forward. We just said, well, that, that's just stupid. You're trying to arrest someone for a crime based upon different stuff and they have not even committed a crime yet. They have not even thought about committing a crime yet. In the movie, it showed that they arrived just when apparently he was going to commit the crime to stop him. So, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen to Christians with all these systems that they're going to do? It's a way for the mark of the beast. It is. China monitoring every single thing you do borrowing you from doing a lot of things india what is india doing india is moving to cashless society you can't purchase and then we have america arresting you for something you have not done yet but they're going to all tell you it's oh no it's according to the laws of the land that they go going to create so if you care to know you know but if you don't care to know you can't see you never was told pre-crime is coming to be very careful until next time, may the Lord bless you and thank you for watching.